Let's be honest, there's no guidebook when it comes to relationships. So we end up having to stumble through life trying to figure things out for ourselves. What if there was a podcast that found the answers for you, that provided insight to build a successful relationship and ultimately find the companionship you've always hoped for? Welcome to the Girls Ask Guys Show, where we answer the questions most people are afraid to ask when it comes to lessons in life and love. It's time to master this thing called life together with your hosts, John and Ashley. And welcome back, everybody, to the Girls Ask Guys Show. Um, I can't do a great intro like John did, but we are a show that helps you and your partner or just you figure out exactly what you need from a relationship. So I think today what we're going to do is kind of reintroduce you guys. Number one, we want to get our new audience familiar with what we do. But we also want to remind our old audience, you guys who have been continuously supporting us, who we can't think enough about what we do. Yeah. So if this is your first time ever listening, or if you've just now found the Girls Ask Guys show, you're probably wondering, what exactly is the show about? Right. Well, we're about getting you results. So mm-hmm. if you are having problems in your relationship, or if you're one of those people who has never been in a relationship, or if you're confused as to whether you are in love with somebody, or if you're just having a crush on somebody, that's where we come in. Because yeah. we are the experts in this. We do this every single day. We live this topic. And I've been doing this for over 20 years. I mean, I started off as a very toxic person. I started off as a pickup artist. I was literally using women. Mm -hmm. And I have learned from that. Uh, We have a past episode where I actually go into that, where one of my former girlfriends, I bumped into her and she told me she felt used and it crushed me. Yeah. And from that point forward, I'm now on a mission to help women and men be able to identify, are you being manipulated? Yeah. Or if you want a deep-seated, loving relationship where it is deeper than anything else you have ever encountered, that is where we can take you. We can exactly. not only show you how to find those people, but also build a sustainable relationship. Right. And I um I haven't been doing it for 20 years. Um, just because, you know, I'm 15. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just because, you know, I'm, I'm not quite that. I'm not there. But uh, at least four or five years. And I started off, um, you know, dating in high school regularly. And then sort of getting into a more toxic environment as I got older and coming out of it and realizing that I really want something meaningful. I not only want it, but when I found something super meaningful, it was just so amazing to me that I said, you know what, there's got to be other people struggling. And then, so then John posted a literal, literally like a literal job application or a, um, you know, a request for a co-host. And I said, "Hmm, let's try it. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. (laughs) And now here we are a, a year later, and Ashley isn't just a co-host. She's more like a co-founder right on. of this podcast. I think I, I only did like four episodes, and during the recording of the fourth episode, I was going down through a list of, no kidding, 200 applicants for this position. And just talking with Ashley, we just clicked like right off the bat. Literally, and it's so weird because we did a test show, and then I remember our first, do you remember our first month recording the show? We did probably, what, 15 shows in 15 days? I mean, we yeah. were, you know, hitting the ground running, and we really, we both had the same general idea, and I think that's what really, what it really came down to was, this isn't about us. It's yeah. about you guys. Um, we can obviously flaunt our resumes, talk about how awesome we are. We can do all of those things. But at the end of the day, none of that matters because as long as we're getting emails and we, I, th- I think it was what, the first three months of our show, we got, we did a show about manipulation and yes. um, we got an email. Do you remember that? That was like yeah. our first fucking email that we ever got. And it was a woman saying, you know, I did not realize until I listened to your show, I was being manipulated. Yeah. And we literally saved her. She yeah. was able to get out of that, re- that toxic relationship. 
and move on to find a relationship that she truly desired. And that's exactly. really what we do. We want to give you clarity. We want to push you to move beyond your fears and your procrastination and your uncertainties mm -hmm. to move you towards a goal of finding that relationship that you truly desire. Yeah, and, and not just desire, but a relationship you want to be in every day. You know what I mean? It, sometimes when we get into a relationship, we talk about settling. We've been talking about settling a lot this season. Um, and it happens. You get into the flow of things and you just accept that that's how it's going to be. In. But our goal is for you to find a relationship that every single day you wake up, you're going to want to be in it. Even if it's rough, because relationships aren't easy. Yeah. I mean, there are rough patches that you're going to go through. But if you have this feeling of just being trapped. Yeah. And every relationship seems like it's the same thing. I mean, you're just like, oh, God, here I go again. And three months later, another breakup. Find somebody else. Three months later, another breakup. And you can't figure out why things are not working. We have the answers. Mm -hmm. We can bring you that clarity. And it's not because we're like the sole relationship gods. It's yep. just that we've been at this long enough and we back things up. We have the actual science, science done by universities. And it's either through social science or psychology science or even sexology where they've gone out and they've tested this stuff relentlessly. Yep. Um, I've, we have a list of over 1,000 different scientific papers that are written that we can refer back to and go, yep, tested it. It works. It works. We had a show on kissing and I pretty much put that whole thing together and I've tested it <laughs> amazingly <laughs> enough. <laughs> and my gosh, when, when I'm actually able to find a person that I care enough about to even do that type of kiss with, it is magical when you feel that person actually melt in your arms and yeah. when you're done when they look at you you just know you no know, you can feel it yes. they can feel it there's this you know right. we, we, we like to joke about <laughs> it's, it's hard to describe a lot. like we like to joke about rom-coms a lot but there's one thing that they capture that is absolutely true and that is that that look that people give each other that look where the camera's sort of zooming into both of their eyes and their eyes meet and it's like you're just you're not even searching for anything because you know you've already found it. And I think that's our end goal for almost everyone who listens. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're listening, you're like, hey, I'm into short-term relationships. We make sure that we guide you into a healthy short-term, that you're defining everything. But we make sure that whatever sort of relationship you're looking for, anything very much short of abusive, because we don't, we, no, don't do no. we don't do abuse, we don't do manipulation. No, and that's probably the biggest thing. Uh, we are not one of those companies. We are not a matchmaker. We don't. We're not going to match you up with somebody else. All right. We're going to show you how to find that somebody else naturally, authentically, and organically. And that's where a lot of companies fall short because we have seen, and I've actually Work been with. to some of these other courses. Yeah. And you sit there for eight hours or twelve hours listening to this person up on stage and you feel good. You feel like you can go out and you can conquer mm -hmm. the world. And then you step out into the world and nothing that they said works. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is because it's theory. Exactly. And we don't do theory. Now we're going to explain to you why it works and why you want to take the steps that we recommend in the order that we recommend them. Then we show you how to actually do it. Because if you're not taking yeah. action, well, what then, are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? You're still going to be stuck and you're not going to feel like your life's moving forward. Every time you go out and you see life is just passing you by and you just, you want that relationship. You want that relationship. You want that. It makes you feel anxious because you're going to parties. You're going on vacation. You're going to, Christmas vacation and you're meeting right. your family and your brother, your sister, your friend, they're introducing you to their new girlfriend, their new boyfriend, they're engaged, there's a wedding announcement and you're sitting there going, 
what's wrong with me. Yeah. You don't have to do that. You nope. don't have to feel anxious like you're going to go up and you're going to talk to somebody and would you like to go out and not only are they laughing at you, but their friends are laughing at you and they're going, why, why would you even think? You? All right. How dare you? Yeah. You don't have to worry about that. We have different ways of actually showing you how you can broach that subject naturally and organically. And more than likely, if you've presented yourself in a genuine fashion and in an authentic way, you're going to be able to broach that subject and they could more than likely say yes. Yeah. They're willing to go out with you. And then we teach you how to deal with the no also. Because a lot of times, a lot of the reason people are afraid to keep getting back out there is because they feel like, I'm getting no, I'm getting no, I'm getting no. And that's okay, because nine times out of ten, the no has nothing to do with you. Yeah. It's not Most you. Most of the time, it, yeah, it's not you. It's it's them. And if it There's is you, some, we'll correct yeah. that. Yeah, we'll be able to correct it. And we have so many different ways of showing you how to present your personality to someone without even speaking a word. Right, and to someone who's not worthy, I guess worthy wouldn't be the correct word, but to someone who you feel is someone you want to be with, not just to anybody. We're not saying it's a crapshoot, because it's not. There is a literal structure to this, and it involves you understanding what you want, and under, it, it, you know it involves you understanding who you are, and then your ideal person. So, we're not just saying, hey, shoot for the stars, you may land among the moon. No, we're putting you directly in the constellation you, you belong in. Exactly. A lot of what we hear from a lot of different people that we work with is, well, I'm not ready. Okay, why, why aren't you ready? Well, I don't have a car. I, I still live with my parents. I don't right. have the right clothes. I don't have the right furniture. I don't have this. I don't. None of that matters. Right. It really does not matter. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Or I don't have time to go out. Uh, okay, do you go grocery shopping? Right. We have ways of showing you how you can meet somebody anywhere. I met somebody at the gas station while pumping gas. How would you like that? Exactly. Who wouldn't want that? You don't have to go to bars. You don't have to go to clubs. You don't have to yeah. do all of these things that are quote unquote normal. You know, we talk about online dating. We talk about everything that you need to hear because realistically, like we said, it's about you. It's not about us. And exactly. it never will be. Yeah. Or a big one that we constantly hear is, well, I don't know how to approach anybody. Got a system for really? that. Yep. We have that. Or I run out of things to say. We've got a list of over 200 questions okay. that you can ask somebody. And these are not normal questions. These are questions that actually reveal character traits about that person. Mm -hmm. You don't need to know all 200. You need five. Yep. You don't even have to memorize them verbatim. You just have to know what kind of answer are you looking for. Exactly. That's it. Uh, I don't know the indicators of interest. I don't know. I don't know if they're interested in me. We can figure that out for you. The way that we have it is it works universally. It doesn't matter what country you live in. Yeah. I've traveled to many different countries, and the, to know that somebody is interested in me is universal. It is very much so. You can feel it. It's a universal feeling. It's like music, actually. I would like to say yeah. a good relationship is like a symphony. Yep. Um, and we teach you how to write that symphony and how to make sure that people love it. Exactly. Uh, another one that we get quite often. I'm not good at sex. Okay, people. Um, you don't have to be a sex god. You just need to know right. <laughs> really two things. Basic. Yeah. I mean, it's really just two things. If you get those exact two things correct, you will be that person's sex god. Right. Uh, I think the last big one that I keep hearing is, I haven't done anything with my life. My life is boring. Mm -hmm. Okay. To you, yes, because... Well, it's your life. Exactly. You live it every single day. But to somebody else, your life could be absolutely amazing. It's just a matter of finding that person. person I don't yeah. care if you if you're if you're a gamer. Okay, gaming to me is rather boring. I do it occasionally, but there are other gamers out there who you're kidding. You've you beat that game? 
Right. Or maybe that that person has a super adventurous job, you know, like an EMT, and they just want to slow it down. And so meeting a gamer, meeting someone who's quote unquote just a gamer, for them is exciting because when they come home, they don't have to do too much. Yeah. They're not having to think about being an EMT. Right. I used to be a cop. A lot of people thought that was the most amazing job in the world. Yeah. To a degree, yes. Sure. But 99% of the time, I was bored off my ass. I'm, I'm sitting there in, out there in the cop car, and I'm just like, man, I wish a call would come in. I mean, right. Uh, because I'm, I'm tired of driving up and down the same roads in my patrol area. I mean, that's it. Uh, but to a lot of people, they're like, that's amazing. I would love to do that. I mean, it's such an honorable position. Yes, on the surface, yes, it is. But it was boring, and there's a lot of politics behind it. Oh, bureaucracy, my favorite. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically what we do. I mean, in a nutshell, and then we always take in write it. We always take write-in questions. So, whenever you want to email us, you know, you head over to our website, and then you just kind of email us and you tell us or you ask us, and we make sure we address it. We make sure you get the copy of the show. We make sure that you are part of this because this would be nothing without your support. Literally, and when I say nothing, I mean like. Literally nothing. Literally. Uh, yeah. Like, pointless. Yeah. So that's pretty much what we do. If you are that person and you feel stuck, like you're romantic, everything else in your life is going pretty much in the direction you want. But your romantic life, your relationship life, whether you're single, married, or in between, is not going in the direction you want. We have solutions for that. Mm hmm. Now, I'm not saying every single solution works for every single person because every person is different. If you're the person that has never had a relationship, I recently just talked to a person, they're 36 years old and still a virgin, wondering what the hell's wrong with them. Nothing. There's nothing wrong. You just haven't found the right person. Right. And we were able to go through that and point them in the right direction. Yep. Then we have, on the other end, people who have been from one toxic relationship to another toxic relationship to another toxic relationship where they felt whether either they were or they felt abused yeah every situation is different we tailor everything to you exactly we are here to make sure that your relationship or you finding a relationship or even ending a relationship goes smoothly because like like i say i cannot stress this enough this is about you and how you feel and how we can help you and Anything short of that is kind of just, we're not doing our jobs. We're, yeah, we're not doing our jobs. We're not here to feed you a line, a bunch of lines and a bunch of feel good stuff. Right. We're here to give you practical, actionable advice. And that's what we do. Like we said at the beginning of this, we don't just recite theory. <laughs> we live this every single day. I have like, Three or four different girls that I'm talking to at the moment. I have one that has really piqued my attention. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm into her. Yeah. Okay. There it is. I'm into her. Ashley has, has a relationship that she's been in for year what, now. just a year now. Yeah, that yeah. She's going through and we're I would still say going dis- through. <laughs> well, <laughs> they listen okay, to it's this. Still I would existing. say going through. Yeah. No, no. Very happy. Very happy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I mean, we both have our, we both have these amazing relationships that we're in. And I date rather casually, but I have, until I find that person that I really want to commit to, and they want to commit to me. Yeah. And I'm, Ashley ha- I'm a serial Ashley's much more monogamous. <laughs> yes. um, I date to find love, and I love it. It's really fun. It's exhausting at um, its weakest points, but it's still something I find worth it. And so that's really, you know, that's kind of the counterpoint to bring to the table. I think a lot of people, when it comes down to it, they try and find a co-host that's exactly like them. That's pointless. When we have, yeah. two, we have two totally different life experiences, two totally different ways of going about things. And through that, we can come to an understanding that there are right and there are wrong and there are just ways to do things. Yes. We want to be your resource for finding out the answers or at least getting the direction you need to go in to find the person that you really want to build a life with. And 
being able to sustain that relationship. That's where a lot of companies, they show you how to get the person, but they don't show you how, how to, to sustain. Yeah, how to keep it. So we're here to help you keep everybody, or not everybody, but anybody you want, um, healthily, obviously not in a controlling a weird way, just in a way that makes sense for everyone. And that's that's what we do. Yes, because like I said, it doesn't matter where you are. You could be at the laundromat doing your laundry. Look at a person, start a conversation with them, and they go, I'd like to go out with you. Mm -hmm. And the majority of the time, they'll at least be willing to at least give you a chance to show them who you are in a genuine and authentic way. Absolutely. There you have it. Welcome to the Girls Ask Guys show, where we are your guide to love and relationships. Yeah. Now, always don't forget, like, rate, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a coworker, tell your mother, and um, of course, write into us, and I think that's it. Yes. And listen to all of our episodes. We have, and if you ever need help or guidance, you can go to our website. We have a contact form right there. You can write into us, keep it succinct, but give us enough detail that we can actually answer your question or at least give you a guide. And with that, we will talk to you on the next one. That's all for this episode of the Girls Ask Guys show, where all of us learn to master this thing called life together. For more answers to your questions on life and love, be sure to subscribe to the show so you don't miss a single episode. And head to girlsaskguysshow.com to submit your questions for a future episode or apply to be a guest on the show. Good luck out there, and we'll catch you next time right here on the Girls Ask Guys show. 